Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install glances on dockage. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, for installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So. Let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today. A glances and eye in your system. It's a top and H top alternative for, for a GNU and Linux, a BSD, a Mac OS and Windows operating system. And, um, and here's what it looks like. Here's a screenshot. It's got CPU, memory, disk, network usage, ETC. And then um, the requirements, different things like that. So uh, that's what we'll be installing today. So now we're going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to how to install glances on dockage right here. And then now I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So. A, a version 3 of Docker Compose is being used. I'm going to set some services, and then the service underneath the service is called Glances. The container name is called Glances, and the image is set here. So it's coming off Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. It's default in Docker Hub. This is the image, and this is the image tag. So 3, 4, 0, 3, and then full. That's the, the current version right now. Um, port mapping between host and container. So 7300 is on the host. 61208 is on the container. So, uh, so the left side is the host. The right side is the container. I'm going to set some environment variables. So the first is time zone. You can set this to your ti uh, time zone. Set a glances option uh, for a web server. And then now P PID is as host. They restart unless stopped, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. I'm going to uh, set a volume down here, so var run docker.sock, so it, it has access to docker uh, engine, and var run docker.sock is read only on the container side. That The left side is the host, the right side is the, uh, the container. So I'm going to go over here to copy raw file. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to go over to my dockage and get this installed. So I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go up here to the compose button, click it. Then I'm going to give a stack name. So glances stack. And then I'm going to go over here to the editor now. I'm going to paste in what I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, scroll up to deploy. So now I'm going to deploy it. So now we got it up and running and you can see it's listening on 7300 on the host side. So that's, uh, so we got it installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to be going over the Docker Compose options. So, I'm going to go over here to Glances Stack. And then, now, you can go in here to, to edit. So, you can uh, add another container to this. And then, uh, underneath the services. And you can go in here to edit. And you can cha change some info, and then you can uh, you can press the save button. You can also delete the container out of this. You can discard your changes, and you can add a URL down here. And um, so you can get out of that. And then you can add an internal network. You can set it in an external network. Um, you can go over here to stop and down and. Then um, let's go back to the stack. So I'm going to discard the changes. So now you can restart the container, the stack, and you can update the con uh, container over here. 
Um, this pulls down the uh, current tag. It doesn't change the tag. And then now, now you can see it's done it. You can stop the uh, stack. You can stop and down. And then you can delete. You can also go into uh, the bash right here. So um, if you get this and you need to switch to SH. So now you can see that we're in the container. So I'm going to go back to the stack. You can now go in the UI from here. You can see a log down here. You can see it's listening on uh, 61208 is on the container side. And um, so that's a little bit about the stack options in the UI. So now I'm going to start in my dockage. I'm going to go to the stack and then I'm going to go here on 7300. So this is going to go uh, use your IP for your dockage and then add 7300 for the port. So I'm going to go into it. So now you can see information about the OS, the CPU memory swap, more information about the CPU, more information about the memory, and then the swap, and then the load of the server. Um, you can see the network usage, the default gateway, the containers being on here since it's Docker Compose. Uh, so glances and then the dockage conta container. You can see the task that are happening and the CPU me memory percentage for the task. You can see any warnings or critical alerts down here. You can see disk IO, the file system, and the sensors. So that's a little bit about uh, glances. So I just went over step by step on getting glances running on dockage. So, uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So, stay tuned for more.